Hi all, it's Die Laughing back with Pokemon Uranium. Right, when last time we did some diving and uh, we run into some pirates, etc. And I had some very tough battles. I was slightly under-leveled. My Pokemon 53 weren't quite high enough. I was fighting guys with 55s, 56s. So I'm in the process of, um, of grinding the guys up, getting the team together. Um, but someone pointed out, was it Anio? Pointed out that I'd missed a fossil. Um, so I've gone and collected that. I've now come down to Rochefail Town, to the lab, and I want to see if it's possible to revive a fossil. Now, I know it's a Nuzlocke, and I've already revived one, so I don't know how the game is fixed for multiple uh, fossil rejuvenations. So let's have a look and see. Oh, no, that's not it. Where's the fossil guy? Yes, yes, yes. I've talked to the wrong guy. Are you him? No. Maybe it's not in the lab. I thought it was in the lab. Where's the fossil guy? Are you the fossil guy? Yes, the fossil revivification expert. Let's see if it'll work. It's called a gold fossil. Somewhere. There he is. Ah. He's done it. He's created life. A Jun Gore. Um, all right, what is it? It's that. Um, what the hell am I going to call that thing? It's one ugly dog, isn't it? What's, what's in a, um, mm. I don't know what you are. Um, I know, I'm just going to call you... Hot Viler. I've no idea what it is. I'll find out in due course. That's really good news. Let me have a look at him. What type of creature are you? Fighting and rock. Okay. I wonder if there's any good. Battle armor. Well, that's not bad. In this game, critical hits are 10 a penny. I haven't got the greatest move set at the moment. I think I might well train you up because, well, I might as well. What the hell? Good speed. Excellent. Right, okay. That's fantastic. Thank you for Annie O for pointing that out to me. And uh, I'm going to train up all my team, get them into the mid-50s, and then I'm going to carry on. So see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye. So what did I do last time? Yes, that's right. I've... Um, I got myself a fossil, then the gold fossil, which was a rock and fighting type. But rather than level all that, all that up from a low level, I think it's five, all the way up, I've decided to give this Luna Pup a go. Um, now, I've also, of course, I've leveled up this thing now. It evolved at 53, this ice and bug thing I've called Grillo. It looks awesome. Frostra. Uh, has some great moves. Um, Silver Wind, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry is a good one because it's super effective on on water types, so that looks like it could be a real good acquisition. But I've decided to level up Remus Looper here, this Luna Pup, and it's all the way up at 56. It's got a great move set. It's got uh, Rock Slide, Earthquake, Close Combat, but unfortunately, it still hasn't evolved. So that got me thinking that perhaps it doesn't evolve through leveling up. So I've gone through all my evolutionary stones, and when I clicked on Moonstone, it said use. So I'm thinking that maybe it evolves using a Moonstone. So I'm going to give it a whirl now and see what happens. It does make kind of sense, though, because it's a Lunar-type Pokemon. And a Moonstone would seem to figure that it would uh, evolve it. So let's have a look. Moonstone, use, able. So let's see what happens. It does evolve. I could have saved myself hours, I think, because it's been a bit of a pain to evolve, to level up, sorry, being a baby. Let's have a look and see what this thing becomes. Wow. A hero loon, a hero loon. Oh, I fought one of these before, haven't I? Excellent. Right, now, now let me see what it becomes. I think it's still got the experience share. Let's see if it's still at the ground and fighting. Yeah, I'll take... Oh, it's got the lucky egg. All right, fair enough. Uh, I've, I've EV trained it in attack, one of those um, fighting dojo places. 
Got, still got Mold Breaker, and it's still Ground of Fighting. See, I look at the moves. It's got some great moves. Earthquake, Close Combat, Ice Fang, and Rock Slide. Really handy. Um, so, yeah, you look as though you're going to be pretty... You look at a big attack. Pretty good physical defense. Yeah. Hopefully, if you're very useful... But just my luck now, it'll, it'll die in the first bloody battle after spending about five years trying to get it up there. Oh, I seem to have taken all my items off the other guys. Give me a moment. Let me just put some items back on them. Okay, so I've given leftovers, uh, et cetera, to some of my guys, and let's move on. Right, I seem to remember last time I was doing some diving along is it Route 13. I can't remember what it was called now. Let me put a rappel on before I move on. Okay, let us go surfing and continue from where... Yes, that's right. I fought some pirates, didn't I, down there? And I lost a Pokemon. So I've been a bit delayed. I've leveled everybody up a bit more as well. So I've done that dive spot. I think this one is just the next one down. I don't think I've missed anything. Oh, and also these corals, they've been great. I got Coral Break. And, uh, of course, I've found myself lots of pearls, shards, but also, more importantly, heart scales. So that means I've got access now to the move relearner, which is, uh, which is rather good. So that has helped, or will help, very good. Um, right then, let me continue down. Now, I'm not sure if I've explored all the dive spots that are available, so I'm just going to have a little shimmy around. See, there's a little dive spot there. There's nothing up there. Let me just have a little look up here. I don't think I went up this one before. I think I missed this before. Right. So this is, again, is Route 14. I've had a capture here. There's a bell. Poison jab. That's good. That's a great move. And this bell. What's this bell over? It's not going to be doing anything. I'm going to click on it. Hmm. What is that about? They must be there for a reason, but... Is it to summon the Kraken? All right, fair enough, then. Let's go back underwater, then. See what gives. All right. Ah, ah, get out of my way. Right, there's another dive spot here. I think that's where I went up last time, and I fought the pirates... And a bloody hard battle it was too. Lost Stitch. That was another reason why I've uh, leveled up Lemus Rupee because I run. Uh, what did I call it? <laughs> Remus Loopy. Because I really, really wanted to have another ground type. Right, so it doesn't look as though there's anything else. Oh, there's another. So there's another dive spot here. I don't know if that's of any relevance. We'll have a look. Hmm. Let's just go and have a little look. I want to make sure I've got everything. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go on up. Right, so I seem to remember last time I had jumped up on this little plateau to the left and had a walk around. Tried to catch Pokemon, but I was told I'd already caught one for the area. So... Sukunami Village. But first, 
Nothing. Or oh, let's use another repel briefly. And... All right. Walkway, anything further around? No. Ah-ha! It's my homies. You have arrived. It is as we were told. You are welcome to our village when you are ready. The master awaits you in his dojo. Okie dokie. I'm not at all afraid. The bright shining moon reflected by ocean waves. The village that I can't pronounce. Tsukanimi. The village exists as a symbol of harmony between our people. We came together to build this as a sign of peace after hundreds of years at war. Really? Let's cancel it and explore. Right. At any given moment in this village, there are at least ten ninja around. You just can't see us most of the time. Well, there's a few in here. Hello, I am Ronin. The Wave Clan is like my family. I am Genin. The Pokemon Sadine is my secret weapon. This one's name is Chunin. I ride the waves as swiftly as the wind. I am the one that is called Junin. I attack by throwing fry and I like knives. And you are so the master. You have arrived to see me at my very lowest point. Oh, right. Stricken by my shameful defeat. So easily overcome by a child. I cannot show my face outside the, my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grand Master Yoshitaki. But so long as his ace disciples are scattered to the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. You and I will have our fated rematch one day. Is that it? All oh, right. Okay, so he just repeats the same dialogue. Okay, let's get through that then. Okay, so what's that red th bit of artwork? So, that's that. Uh, what else have we got here? Who are thou? Hello, hello. I sell rare delicacies from all over the world. Let me see what you got. Um, I think I've got a few of these anyway. I'll have a couple more. Have we got any coconuts? I got a few, haven't I? Yeah, let's get another, another few. Quite useful. I think I'm all right for that. I got tons of full heels. Oh, big statue of something. Rare foods and treasures from far as the wind blows. You can buy them here. Right, that statue depicts the Pokemon Yatagaru. Yatagaru. It is rare and sacred to the ninja clans. Only the Proven are allowed to train them. They say Yagata ya has the power to summon the thunderstorms at will. Ah, electric type, presumably. That's why it's called the Stormbringer Pokemon. What's it called again? Last Resort. Don't think I've ever used that. What have you got to sell me? Lots of different balls. Well, I got plenty of them anyway. Yeah, level ball, I'll have a few of them. Give me, give me a dozen. And maybe a fastball. Or two. That'll do. And you, sir. Right, it's your trainer. And you've got... Ooh. Some very good goodies. I'll have one of them. I'll have one of them. God, it's expensive focus sash. I got a life orb. I got an expert belt. I've got some of those. Wide lens, zoom lens. 
So I want to. Um, I got a light forb. I get a, I get a couple of focus sashes. They're quite expensive. I got another couple more. I'm using all my money up. All right, what's up here? The Holy Temple and Gym. We'll go there in a moment. Why do we wear black all the time? Well, because it's cool, duh. Plus, you can't tell when it gets dirty. Well, maybe. I think I've spoken to you. Another little housey. Ah, people not clad in groves. I am of the Suki clan, and my wife is of Clan Nami. If not for the example set forth by our leaders, Hinata and Kato, a love such as ours could never have happened. I guess it goes to show how powerful love can be. Okay, fair enough. La -la 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 -la. Supreme leaders, to put it simply, spiritual, political. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. Who are you then, Gavna? You're a trainer, right? You should know Kato and Hinata are the gym leaders of Tsukanimi. Okay, two of them. They don't use any particular type, but their theme is night and day. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay. The temple of Eutius and Mutios is the biggest building in our village. It was erected to signal the end of the war that lasted more than a hundred years since the temple is also a gym. All battles inside are sacred rituals. I mean, the last gym was tough. All those trials. I was very lucky to have a Nucleon at hand at the time, which made it a lot easier. But it's now gone. My house has many extra rooms, so I converted it to a hotel. Oh, okay. I'm going to have a wander, rampage through your hotel, and see what everyone has to say. Where's the bed? Minicorn. I want to see a minicorn. Have you... No, I haven't got a minicorn. Eh? Why do they all say Abel, then? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hey, that door was open. Closed, and now it's open again. Oh, well, hello. Uh, hello there, I'm Fennel, a scientist from the Anova region. I decided to come here on vacation, since this region has an interesting and unique culture. And this is Dream, my Mashana. Masha! I specialize, ah, oh, dreams. I even helped build a device called the Dream Visualizer. I wonder if we can get our dream abilities then. Okay. You're saying there's a little... Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're saying there's a little girl in Venezia City who's trapped the dream. I remember coming across her and I didn't know what to do about it. That's a little outside my expertise. I mostly specialise in Pokemon dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go to Venezia City and see if I can help this girl. After all, what's the point of science if it can't make people's lives better? I'll see you there, I hope. Right, well, I'm going to head back there, I think. Not right now, but maybe before I take on the gym. I might get myself a good acquisition. Right, physical attack move tutor. Ah! I think I got some shards. What have they got? Let's physical move, so... Well, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with what they've got. Let's just see what I can give, give to Lemus. Rup Remus Lupi. Some good moves. Superpower. Hmm. Is that better than close combat? Much the same, isn't it? I'll have a think about these. What I might do is in between episodes, when I come back for the gym, maybe. Buff. 
I got all these shards from Coral Break, so that's quite handy. Uh, let's just see what you've got. Oh, okay. Um, what have you got? Oh, nasty plot. I'm going to get rid of Toxic. Because I've never used it. Yeah, that could be very good. Yeah, maybe my Ice Bug type could do with some special moves. Let's have a look. We haven't got the greatest move set. Ooh. Do you know what? That could be very worthwhile. I'm going to get rid of Acid Armor. Alright, I'll do for now. I'll do for now. Okay, mate, no worries. Okay, so that's the hotel. That was worth a visit. We ninjas are working on our image. The whole mysterious and deadly thing doesn't make for great PR. What's this place? The museum. Treasures and artifacts of cultures long ago. Oh, let's go and have a little peruse of this place then. Hello, Mr. Curator. Hello and welcome to Tsukunami Tsukin Museum of Legends, dedicated to preserving the history and culture of civilizations of Tandor long past. I will have a look for 150. Thank you so much. Theatre. Okay, good. Please don't touch the exhibits. Many of them are priceless antiques. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Well, there's a few, pi oops, a few pirates about, isn't there? Oh, there's an upstairs. We'll have a look in a moment. Under the old kings, only the nobility were allowed to raise Pokemon. Any peasant who was caught training Pokemon was thrown in jail or sentenced to death. I can't even imagine what life without Pokemon would be. I'm with you there, mate. Yeah, absolutely right. A Metalink's tail. Hmm. What else have we got? War helmets of Tsuki and Nami. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you think happened to the people that lived in the Baikal rainforest? Do you think they just disappeared? I don't know. Maybe they just dissolved because of the rain. Ah. Learn from observing artifacts ruins they left behind. I see. Okay. Let's have a little little look up 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 here. Man, I really want a Yata Guru. Where can I catch one? I have no idea. Dot, dot, dot. Gentle, protective, yet so powerful. The perfect Pokemon. Is there such a thing as a perfect Pokemon? You want to know how to catch Aotius and Mutios? Haha, -ha, listen, have you heard the Pokemon Ho-Oh and Lugia? Well, I have. Latias and Latios, I have. Yes, yes, I've heard of them all. Those are all aspects of two great sprites. Don't believe me? Ask the gym leaders Hinata and Kato. They are the mortal avatars of the gods. After all... Sort of a bird. Okay. After our clans came together, we built this museum to commemorate our culture. And then we expanded to other cultures around Tandor. Ah, uh, so these must be legendaries. Hey, what are you looking at, mate? I'm not here for for any malarkey. Got it? Just looking for at big statues. Definitely not gathering evidence <laughs> for the captain. Nope. I see. Crack, Krakaneo, vengeful maelstrom. The third and most feared of the sea legends. Krakano, 
would use its many arms to drag people to their watery doom. The Kraken, I suppose, yes. It is spoken about in... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I wonder if we get the opportunity to catch any of these monsters. Beitateo, Boiling Wrath. Mighty Serpent, one of the three legendary seas. So we've got three legendary sea Pokemon, water ones. A freighter went missing. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I shall look forward to encountering them later. Right, what's next? Let's go and have a peek in the gym. I thoroughly enjoyed the museum. Let's have a little scamper down there. I don't think there's anything else here. Let's have a look and see some more bells like we had up at that little island. Aha, we're in, we're in. All right, Gavna. Right. White tiles 13, black tiles 7. Is this like a war? Game? Competition. 13-7 to the whites. Hey, would you look at that? You made it here at last. This is the eighth and final gym in Tandor. This building is a shrine to the gods, Aetius and Mutios. And the gym leaders are the prince and princess of the ninja clans. So presumably I'm going to have a double battle with them at the end. Not only that, but they're said to be the mortal voice of the gods themselves. To reach them, you have to solve a puzzle. Remember, I don't know how to pronounce this. Aotius and Mutius are all about balance. Don't freak out, okay? You can handle this. I believe in you. All right, so it's 13-7 to whites. I know you said all that. You said, you said it, you said it. I know, I made a mistake. I pressed it again. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Why does he keep saying the same thing? Oh. I'm trapped in a loop. Oh, no, I'm not. Thank God. Right. So, we have presumably seven black and 13 white. So, what do we have to do? What, what is the object here? Do we have to make it 12 all? Do we have to make them all black? What the hell? Do we have to make them all one colour? Is that the object? Balance. But all the same, perhaps. Do we have to make them the same number? Because he was talking about balance. Ah, I get it. So... Right. Rumbling thunder, then flash, the whole sky lights up. Lightning cleaves the air. These look as though they're quite tricky. Right. Tsuki Ninja Cookie would like to battle. She's got a Vol Chick. Level 54. Right. So I'm 56. Um, Vol Chick. I'm going to try you with an Ice Beam. I haven't got Ice Beam. Damn. Oh, I've ballsed up a bit, haven't I? I'll have to give you a different move set. Let's just try you with a surf. Oops. So I'm going to get some uh, rain coming in with drizzle. I don't know what a Volchik is. I assume it's some sort of Electric bug, maybe, or maybe electric flying. Okay, well, it couldn't stand up to uh, Tuxedo. A Jolteon, now then. It's a shame it's raining, but a Jolteon can't learn any. Uh... Let's give Remus Loopy its debut. Jolteon doesn't get any water moves, does it? Let's see how you get on, matey. I might train up another level or two for this gym. 
Good thinking. You only had that move, it would have worked. Good stuff. A Theor Amp. Yamp. Oh, it's got amp in it. So I'm guessing it's electric. So I'll say no. Ah, yeah, I got one of them. I didn't know it was called that, though. Why? Oh, body slam. Don't paralyze me. Don't paralyze me. Good. You're going to be four times weak to that. So you haven't got a hope. Rock and electric. It's kind of a bit of a... Yeah, it's not a great move. That's why I've not trained it up anymore. It's not the greatest of combinations, that one. Right then, so I've defeated you. Zap out your electric theme. All right, no worries. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call an episode there. I'm going to go and find out about that sleeping girl back at Venezi uh, village or town and see what that's all about. Maybe train up another level or two and then come back and complete this gym. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode. See you soon. Bye-bye.